Welcome back. This is Stellaris and I am Dark Magic Gaming and let's get right back into it. What were we doing last we checked? I know I was sending out some scientists, uh, which there is one here. He is still surveying, I suppose. Yep. We're at normal speed, so let's speed that up a tad. And where is our other science ship? Because I know we have two. Uh, is this one? Oh. That was loud. Uh, hostile fleet. Where is this? Uh, gamma aliens, which are... Where? Well, we'll figure that out in a second. We have an encounter... Uh, yeah, these are the gamma guys. Okay. Ah, it was here. Dang, we're gonna need to build some military units if this continues, so we might as well do that now if we have enough money. And we have another... Seems to be a quest. Uh, immense ragged planes of a shadow drift across the star mag V's face. Uh, okay. Hmm. So there's some, like, floor, like floating life above a gans gas giants. Interesting. I'm trying to remember where we were last time, because it has been a day. Uh, oh, look at our little city. So we have plenty of people here. We have plenty of civilization. What is this? We can upgrade this, so why don't we do that while we're at it? Uh, oh, why is it? There we go. So we're upgrading the science lab to a... It already has three, so we may as well add it to a physics lab, I think. Because I like physics. There we go. We're on fastest still. We're going to need to earn some more money at some points. So we can build... We can build some now. Alright, so let's build one at least. So we can deal with some of those aliens over here. And here the betas. We're also going to want to start researching these beta aliens and then the ga gamma aliens so we know what they're weak against and know what exactly they are. Uh, where did our science ship go? System survey complete. I know one of our found. I know one of our construction complete. Will you shut up? All right, where did our science ship like escape the aliens to? Cuz I need to know that. Uh oh, they're both in here, I see. So this one is completely surveyed, which is good to know. Let's click on this and send him here. Go here, survey the system. And now let's go to our other one. Yeah, here moving there. So you Yeah, you're not you're not doing anything. All right. So you So it was you? Did I do both of them? Ugh, I'm not very good at this game, guys. This is my literally my second playthrough, so sorry if I'm a little rusty. And sorry about those dogs. Why Why are they both moving there? Okay, they're not. So you go here. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so I believe I fixed the ships. One's going to one, one's going to the other. And now let's take a look at what's going on. So we have the Star Mag systems being fully looked up. Not looked up surveyed and we found an anomaly here so construction complete. why not there's a precursor civilization there where you can look at i think that's what it said yeah let's look at that and what do we got here ah yondorim has finished its surface construction which was the upgrade to this and now we'll have another guy here eventually so that's good once he's grown we can get some more work done i don't know why it was still paused there all right so we're gonna need to special, special project complete what Oh, mining drones. Cool. So reports of a deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. They were once workers and custodians, and uh, they were abandoned. Uh, yeah, they just attack everybody. Anyways, we can establish a listening post Situation to learn more updated. about them and their technology. And, oh, this is our like main quest. So this is the quest that every single civilization gets. They have like a main quest that gives them the most... How do I say it? The most, like rewards at the end. That's like their main thing for the game. So ours is the Yut Empire. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Star Mag 6, I think it is? Our scientists think that they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves the Yut and appear to have been very large and flat. And arthropod analogs, that's different. It seems a single individual could reach the length of nearly 100 meters as an adult. That's pretty damn big. 
and apparently it was exceedingly rare for more than two or three yachts to travel aboard the same ship. That would make sense since they were big. Interesting. Situation log update. So that's where they used to live, in Starmag here. Starmag 6, which is... No, that's 4. Where is it? That's the one. So this used to be a habitable world, apparently. Don't want to know what happened there. And so we should... Yeah, there we go. We have 131 gems, which means we can create our next Corvette class. We can actually create two, which should be enough to help clear out this research, research alien complete. scourge here. And we have some research. We have colony ships. Yes, that's what we wanted. That will require actual habitable worlds now, but that's fine. Uh, energy siphon. Ooh. That could be fun. And it's already partially researched. Oh, wait. No. That doesn't do anything. So... I think we're gonna get some energy siphons. We wanna work on some weapons, at least. Construction. And complete. our construction is complete, so let's take a look at our... There we go. That's 102, and is it still going on? No. Alright, so we're gonna send our... Fleet. And let's assign a leader while we're at it. Um, recruitment cost is low. His evasion is 15. And you're aggressive, so your fire rate. Well, you have a winner here. Go. And we're going to assign him to the fleets. And we are going to send the fleet here to take care of these system aliens. Survey complete. And this one's system survey is complete. Is there anything useful here? I don't see any habitable worlds yet, so that's kind of annoying. But that's fine. We're going to get... And we want to continue on from there to go here, here. I've been doing it one at a time, which I really shouldn't be doing. And wait, hostile fleets presence. Let's take a look. This is where I sent my. There we go. Look at this. Now, what are these? Oh, these are big crystal guys. Are they being researched right now? Hmm. All right. Let's take a look at the research we're doing right now. We are not researching them. I don't know why. Alright. So let's research them before we attack them to see if we want to attack them. You will stand by here, Mr... What was your name? Urkel. Ha! <laughs> Urkel, right here. We'll stand by. Not to be confused with the 90s sitcom Urkel. Uh... Okay, wait. Uh... Something's happening. Yeah, research that. <laughs> okay. And we have another anomaly, which he is researching. Yeah, okay. And we are working on the gamma aliens. Research complete. Boom. And we have fracking. That's what we want. Lovely. We are... Ooh, Beltharian power plant. That is so useful. I'm glad we got that. And we have fracking, so we can start upgrading some of our surface mines. So we could upgrade that, but I want to upgrade this first. So mining network 2... We're going to want to upgrade food. We can't upgrade that. Can we upgrade this yet? No. I'm pretty sure we've upgraded everything we can, so that'll be it for now. I keep pausing it, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's check on the Gamma Aliens. We have 56... Okay, that should be finished in a second, and we can see if we want to destroy them. That was my... Ah, Sarki! You failure! Alright, you. Is that you? Are they both Yusarki? Because that's gonna be. Yeah, they're both Yusarki. But that's fine. This guy can at least. Um, crystalline entities. Yeah, that's the one. So, the reports of strange, free floating crystal like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. Uh, the. They are starship size, and they're slightly smaller, but equally crystal like satellites. I see. So, they have little guys. Interesting. Alright, so. Do I want to observe them before I destroy them? Alright. Yeah, let's do that. F you know, let's look at it first to see if there's any ha habitable worlds here. Because if, uh, if there are, then we're going to want to destroy them. If not, that's barren. This might be a habitable world. No, okay. So we can study them. Situation. Situation. Which is actually good for our sort of belief system as the bird guys. More aliens. Great. Cool. Alright, you guys... I guess you can uh, 
go stand by somewhere else. Go here. Go to Thrad. We'll see what these guys were. I can't remember. And you are Delta aliens. They don't seem hostile, so that's nice. What are these guys? Construction these complete. are the... That's my guy. Hostile. Hostile. Oh! Fleet engaged. So these might actually be a s another alien civilization, because they are scanning things. So they are definitely something worth Delta aliens. Yeah. Perfect. We're doing it. Alright. We want to see who they are. We are... S oh! Our fleet's in combat. Um... Oh, these are the drones. We can take them apart. Get rid of them. Let's watch this. Oh, our lasers are taking them to bits. Look at this. Boom. Instant victory. <laughs> All right, so they are taken care of. Is there anything useful here? Not that I can tell, but we will send our fleet to eliminate the mining station. And there we go. We have a tundra. Uh, that's not very useful. Ooh, but this guy... Oh, this is the Tundra. Okay. But at least it's colonizable at one point. Time project... Which one is this? Ah, the Debris. So we can send one of our science ships really quick. So you research projects... Yeah, you research the system. And where are we? The Hatchling can continue. Alright. Situation log. Good, update. we have another thing they can research. System survey. The system survey is complete, and you are moving on to the next one. Good. Now, we have... How much in the bank? Okay, good. We have enough to start... Where are we? Where is our... There we go. We have enough to start building everything. So we want to start building research stations, mining stations, all that jazz. So we'll start with the research stations, then we'll do the mining stations here. Because there's a lot of useful things there. And we will continue... Oh, this is the Empire, so let's see what we got. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Imperium of Rakdom. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. I wasn't aware there were hostilities. Whoa, they're freaky looking. Huh. Evangelizing Zealots. Huh, they're similar to us. I speak on behalf of the Imperium of Rakta, and I have been authorized to bring you greetings. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Krofuyug, with reverence, I see no reason, blah 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 blah. So, let's do, let's do the religious one here. So, praise be to the divinity. The news that we have encountered alien, intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. Huh. This confirms what we had long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. So each new alien represents both an opportunity and a threat. Very true. So these guys are very similar technology as well. Excellent. So we're pretty much the same. So they're not going to be too dangerous. Oh, but this guy is now still researching in their land. That's fine, I guess. I don't like that it's really close. So we're going to want to start going downwards because we are very closely bordered here. And we want to make sure we get some... Uh... Oh, I almost forgot. This is super important. Now that we have some money... We're going to need a colony ship, so we need to save up another... I should not have spent money on that mining stuff. Oh well, we will wait until we get that and we'll get a colony ship out. Though, to be fair... Are you still... Yeah, we're done with that. Debris. Lasers, physic research, good. Research this, and then... We need to start going down, so we're going to start going... Boom. We want to research all these planets here, because hopefully one of these will have a habitable world that we can use. System survey. System survey. And complete. his system survey is complete, which is fine. Alright, so we've got the debris. We don't need to worry about that. That one's good, and... Good. So this construction is done. Lovely. Debris. Now, is there anything... Debris. Let's push alt here and see if there's anything we want to use. Anything we want to mine. No. Evading so we'll leave him in... Uh, ugh. There's still a hostile fleet there? That's annoying. Well, on the bright side, we have our army right over there. So we'll send him there. And instead of sending you there, we will send you here. Uh, so he's going way around. Wow. That's fine, then. Alright, let's go check out what surveys completes. 
Though our surveys of habitable worlds are through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories, blah 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 blah. So there's a museum, all the things we've discovered are there. Cool. Now let's see what alien baddies we have here. Crystal guys. Alright. That is annoying. There's crystal guys here, crystal guys here. And we are what do we need to do for the ah, I thought it was ah, That is annoying. Epsilon, we'll deal about that later. I want to see how we are dealing with them. Why does it keep unpausing? I keep pausing it. So, ah. That's why it wasn't going down. We need to research it first. Ugh. I want to know if I can destroy them soon. So, you are the science ship, and what is here? Epsilon aliens. Can we look at them? We can. Ah, so these are the void clouds. They shoot lightning, they're bad, but they don't chase anyone, so that's fine. And, uh, I guess we can... Uh, I don't like that. Let's cancel orders. Cancel last orders. How do I do that? Uh, no. God, sorry! Um, let's send them here instead. I don't like this. How do I make that stop? Ah, there we go. That's why. Alright, so let's actually... There we go. So you'll start surveying that and we can continue. It's unpaused again already. How does it keep doing this? Hostile fleets are pleasant. Presents, rather. Uh, system surveyed. Anomaly. Alright, so this is about the crystalline entities. They are breakable. Krill. So we can either get plus 10 in physics or crystal scanner. Uh, I don't know what we want. We can add the crystal sonar, or we can get some... I want to go to the physics. Physics is important, so we will have him research that before he does anything else. And, now that that's done, I will pause it really quick just to check, but, yes. Now we can destroy them without worrying. We've learned all we can. Kill them. I'm not being very peaceful, but whatever. <laughs> it's how I work. I know that. Another anomaly. And I can't speak. Again. Another anomaly, and we can research. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So we've got our blue lasers. Um, I think we want some deflectors to defend our ships, and then we can continue on. Now let's see. Ooh, this might be bad. We might want to retreat this because this is not going well. Yeah, this is not going well. This is an absolute massacre. Holy crap! Uh, we can retreat. Retreat. Oh my gosh, that was not the best. I didn't expect them both to fight, but on the bright side, in like a couple days, we'll have enough gems to create a colony ship, if we don't already have it. So we do have enough, no, now we do. Boom, colony ship, and now we have something to actually proceed our empire into the next era. We have approached email era, the YRMS undomesticated hatchling suddenly received a glancing hit from several passing mass driver rounds. These projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they, they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. Wow. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia. Until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. So there's some other aliens who were in some sort of battle in another galaxy, and they missed it they're like oh my god we missed fire again but what they don't realize is that one round that they missed is going to go for millions if not billions of years and hit some other guy so it wasn't actually a miss <laughs> that's really is incredible and we got some reach, so that's cool all right with our colony ship on the way and our fleet needing to be repaired and rebuilt as it is, because we've lost everything except for that one guy. At least Urkel is okay. We don't want to lose Urkel. He is a national treasure right there. Alright. We don't have enough money to do anything else except for research. Our science ships are just doing their stuff. System survey complete. What we are gonna look for, actually, what we can do, push alt, and we can see any look, there we go. Star Mag has a habitable world somewhere. Right here. Per and it's tropical, which is what our bird guys like. And our fleet has been repaired. So this is great. So we're going to send our colony ship here. 
Now let's check the surface. It's pretty big too. This is a really good find. It's right next to us. It's gonna be our buff against the Racta. And we can get rid of that. Repairs are completed. And unless I'm mistaken, we can send you to start building mining stations soon. Not yet, but soon. Look at all these hostile planets around us. We're gonna definitely need to build some ships to clear them out, because we can't diplomat. Our people are diplomats, they don't like war, but if they have to, they do it. If we look in our leadership tab, we can tell. Look at this guy. Where is it? Uh, budget policies. Alright, so where are we? It's in the policies, there we are. So war philosophy is defensive wars. However, that means if something is attacking us, like these guys, and we can't continue, then that is a defensive war. So it meets our defensive quota, if you will. So I don't think it's uh, against our sort of belief system that we could eliminate them, especially after we researched them and did everything we could to try to do it peaceably. Now, the YRS undomestic hatching was forced to return to beyond because it is in the borders. It was in the borders before! That's annoying. Is it this one? It is. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It is literally going around the entirety of the galaxy. Um, what the hell? There's got to be a shorter route than that. Seriously. Um, can I get open borders with you guys? They don't like us. Um, well. They're, they're superior to us, too. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be losing that science ship for a while. Damn it. That's really disappointing. What is this guy doing? Why are you not researching the things I told you to research? Wait, you're the... Never mind, he's the construction ship. Complete. But this guy can... I don't want you to go there. No. Ah. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, we need to pause. I might have just sent a colony ship to a hostile world, like a scrub. Yeah, more aliens. I don't care right now. We need to worry about the colony ship. No, stop! Why the hell does it keep... Ugh. Why the hell does it keep unpausing when I don't tell it to? That is so annoying. Alright, so we are sending it here. So let's send him there, where he can colonize. God damn it. So we want to... Yeah, we don't want to send... To, I don't think there's a colon, uh, console world here. Look at that. That's kind of nice. They don't like it as much as tropical worlds, though, so we're going to send him to a tropical world. And we have unemployed pops. Oh! And we're losing credits. That's fine. We're going to get more credits once this guy starts mining. So we can get rid of all this. I'm aware of that. And you, start building mines. Build all the mining stations so we can get that five extra credits, which should perfectly take care of that minus two. Now, where is our... There we go. So our hatchling is here. Can we colonize that? What's going on? I'm trying to figure out how to colonize again, because it's... There we go. We're colonizing with this. We want to put this somewhere central, so all the bonuses for having the main, like, capital building will be spread around. We're going to obviously have to research a bunch of clearing jungle and volcanoes, but this will do. We'll put it there. And it's not going to be called Star Mag Prime. It is going to be called... Let's call it... Hmm... Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because we're birds. And they don't know what that is. For them, there's some religious, like, masterpiece. Maybe Earth sent some Kentucky Fried Chicken trash. They started... So Earth has... Let me paint you a story. Earth has gotten so filled with garbage that they decided they're going to start launching it into space to get rid of it. And one of those little bundles of space trash had Kentucky Fried Chicken Bucket in there. And it landed... Onto the... What is our home system called? Let's see. It landed on Yondarim. And these people, primitive and not knowing anything, stumbled upon it, picked it up, and worshipped it as their god. So, that is why they've named this next planet Kentucky Fried Chicken. They don't know what it means, but for them, it is a vastly religious thing. Little do they know, when they finally come across humans, they're going to be mocked. Research complete. Rightly so, too, because they're fools for thinking that 
Kentucky Fried Chicken is something amazing. All right, let's get some, mm, yeah, let's get some more energy storage. And do we want more minerals? Or do we want, I think we want a mass driver. All right, more war. Because to be peaceful, you have to have a big stick. To quote Theodore Roosevelt, speak softly, but carry a big stick. And that's our philosophy here. Oh, and we even have Beltharian stone. Oh, cool. So I know there is an unemployed pop here. So we can, if we look down here, there should be a Beltharian power plant. Perfect. So we're going to build that there. And that is going to utilize our Beltharian, which will even further fix our energy credit problem. And here, why don't we build? We can't build anything yet, but that's fine. At least it's doing something here. At least he has stuff to work. So we'll continue on here. And what is our... Why are you back again? Oh, our first colony has been landed. All right, so our colony ship has found a rare patch of open ground in the jungles of Kentucky Fried Chicken and made planet fall. The landing site has been surrounded by all sides in lush, lush vegetation and sentry drones have been deployed to guard against predators. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlements and its reactor core in the process of being removed so it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters, shelters have sh sprung up around the former starship's massive hull. So perfect, we have finally got our second colony. Now let's take a look at Kentucky Fried Chicken, shall we? We are colonizing it. They're building that, they're setting up, they're packing. They're getting everything up. Hostile fleets, pre hostile fleets present. These things are an issue. We are going to have to deal with them. Where are you? Okay, you're at least continuing on your way, which is good. We don't need to worry about you now. Now, where is our science ship again? Our second one? The only actual one that's working? I can't go this way. We're screwed. I'd like to go here, but this ship is in the way. So, we'll, unfortunately, I think... Where is it? All right, we're going to stop that order, and we're going to start building up our military, because we're going to need to get some more corvettes to completely eliminate those stupid rocks that are completely halting our progress. So, for next time, guys, we are going to get rid of these crystals. We're going to get some time, get our miners out here. We're going to have a bunch of crystal necklaces by the time this is done. They're going to be the, all the rage on the Beyond Planets, on Yondarim, and soon on Kentucky Fried Chicken. Everyone is going to be wearing these crystalline entity necklaces because we are going to completely eliminate them so we continue can continue our path down here to start colonizing more and searching more luckily we actually had a colonizable planet within our boundaries here on star mag our kentucky fried chicken but until then we are stuck until we can get our armies up to snuff and to start clearing out our area we are stuck so next time we're going to get to war but this time, we have finally built our second colony. We've made some more progress. And I will see you guys next time.